Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. Today, we're in Internet Area 2, and I want to put that pen to use here. Get another power-up. Okay, let's see. We want to go straight across this time. We don't want to go quite to where Stone Man was. Okay, keep on going there, and ha-ha! Let's see what we got behind this one. Woo! Another power-up. So, let's see, I'm going to put that into charge there. So, yeah, doing pretty good. Next power-ups, I want to max out attack and max out charge there as well, eventually. But we're not going to get all that stuff today. So, do what we can with what we got. But it is nice to charge up my buster a lot faster. Okay, now we want to go to where Stone Man was. Because that's where the virus is that stole that guy's money. I forget exactly how we're supposed to know that, but I think he gave us, like, a little hint or something. I don't know. Okay, before we reach the top, there's a guy. Uh, let's see. How's the folder looking? Good enough. We'll be fine. Okay. Let's get it on! Oop. He said, how'd... how'd you know, I'm gonna reset so I can show that. Let's try that one again. Well, I didn't see you, but apparently the other guy did. Nuts. Not really a boss fight, but we'll take what we can get. Okay, let's see. These guys are water elementals, so if we had a Lex Sword, I would use it, but I don't. So, let's see. Quick 2. That actually would deal more damage than the Fire Sword would. Do I have any matching codes? Nope. Let's see. Heater, not so good. Yeah, we'll just go with the Quick 2 chip and go from there. These guys, they are a little stronger than the ones we fought before in the Waterworks Network, but they're, they're basically, they basically have the same attacks anyway. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, nuts. Uh, oh, we got two that I could use. Hmm. If I could use this one and then that one, I could get them both at once. Get a double deletion bonus there. Let's see if I can uh, pull that off. And got him. Probably not under 12 seconds. Nope, but... Well, we, at least we get a pretty good reward here for that. Nice! Okay, let's get out of here. We're uh, done with everything in here, if I recall correctly. Yes, we are. Okay, yeah, let's go. I don't know how that was supposed to solve the problem. Okay, we killed the virus, but... Is that going to send the money back to the guy? Or did we get it back? Or... Did they put it on a gift card or a credit card or... Well, apparently it is back somehow, so... There it is! Oh, what do we get? Holy crap! Lots of money. Yeah, we're gonna need that for a purchase that we're gonna make pretty soon. Now, at this point, there's not much else that we can do besides advance the plot. But I would like to go to Internet Area 9 and 10... Because, well, now I have money, and there's some stuff I can buy there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Dad's computer at the Scilab there, and then we'll head on over there. Okay, we're back at Dad's office there. Easiest, or shortest way to get to Internet Area 9, so let's head on in there. We'll actually be going to Internet Area 3 first, and then to Area 9 there. You're probably not meant to do this until later in the game, but there is some pretty good stuff we can get by going there now. So, not that you couldn't do it later, but we might as well. Oh, and there's, uh, I don't know if I've shown that guy before. I think I might have, but, well, whatever. Okay, well, anyway, this guy can drop Thunder 1 chips, and those could be pretty useful against water enemies. So, let's see if I can get it from him. Nah. Oh, well. But, yeah, I mean, you could get them from him, but he's just not very common anywhere, really. So, I don't think it's worthwhile. Okay, so now we're in Area 9. There's actually 16 Internet areas you could go to. I suppose, theoretically, you could go to all of them. Well, not all of them, but 9 through 16, I suppose you could go through. But it would be really, really hard without more levels, or more power, stats, whatever, chips. So, yeah, I'm only going to do a couple areas, because there's some stuff that I want to get there. Let's see, there's mystery data there. Awesome. 
what do we get around here? Woo! Wow, I'm just raking in the money now. Maybe I'd, I could even buy one of those armors. The heat armor or aqua armor. Okay, we got a new enemy in the lower right there. Let's see, that guy, what is he called? Hmm. I can't seem to find him on my list here. Well, whatever he does. Anyway, oh, uh, Twisty, too. That's his name. For some reason, I didn't think that was it. Okay, so what I want to do is go use my Dino Wave. I'm going to move down to try and get that fishy to follow me. And then I'm going to try and hit it as it's charging towards me and kill them both at once. Because I can get a double hit on the fishy there. Come on. Nice. Oh, damn it. Wow, my timing wasn't good. Well, my timing is rarely good, but... Oh, well. Now, that didn't work out so well. Whoops. And the enemies only get harder from here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Why would they have a server? It's not like they have a website or anything. They just want to delete everything. Wouldn't it just be easier to... I don't know, get an EMP and be done with it or something? I don't know. It's like an Escape from L.A. sort of thing or whatever. I like that movie. But anyway, okay, let's see. Where do we go now? So yeah, we can't go over there either. Same problem that we had before. So let's go up here first. Okay, this one is not random mystery data. It will always be a ring zap chip. All right. Let's see, I needed that for my collection there. So that's why I didn't bother farming it earlier, because we can just pick it up for free now. Then let's try one of the other paths that we didn't go to before. Is there anything up there? Hmm. We'll see. Okay, we got a couple new enemies there. These are... What are they called? Megalion? Megalion? However you pronounce it. I don't know. But anyway, they do have a chip that I might want to get. I'm not going to go out of my way for it. If I can get it, great. If not, I wouldn't fret over it. So, let's see. This might be pretty useful against them. If I had... Uh, what is it? Dino Wave chips. I could one-shot them. What they're going to do is they're going to move down. They got some sort of barrier on them. So, anything under 10 damage won't hurt them. But they're going to shoot their heads off to me. It, it's going to dash at me and then pull back. And you can get a double hit that way if you're fortunate. But not right now. I don't have chips for that. So, uh, do I have any duplicate codes? No, I do not. Okay. Let's uh, throw that one back there. Or they could do that. Ow. Okay, where are you? Whoa! Okay. Uh, let's go with the fighter sword then. Yeah, we'll try that. Uh, how did you move like that? Who do you think you are, Shark Man? Holy cow. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. I mean, I could probably get a double hit with this anyway. Alright, ooh, double double hit. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get a from this one. <laughs> Holy cat. Wow. I really screwed that one up. Oh, well. But anyway, okay, let's see. Let's go this way. This is the dead end path. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. And a new enemy there. Gaia. They can drop, well, Gaia chips, I guess. So, yeah, we want to be ready for that. Now, what this guy is going to do, he's going to kind of sit there for a little while, and I won't be able to damage him a whole lot, but once he does move around, he'll become vulnerable, and that's when I want to use my wood power chip, and hopefully I will be able to time it right. If not, well, oh well, oops. And got him! Easy enough! Didn't get a Gaia chip. Gaia chip, basically, it's like the Gutsman chip. It hits all enemies for damage, cracks the tiles, I think. 
So yeah, that would be really good, but those guys are just not nearly common enough for me to want to farm them right now. I'm only going to farm chips if the enemies are reasonably common, but these guys are not. So, oh well. I mean, I'll farm the chips in post-game, not during the main story. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to get while we're here, since we've already defeated Color Man. He has a fixed encounter here. Oh, hey, hey, all right. Well, much better than the last time. Sure, let's put that in there. Uh, let's see, what do we got as far as attack power? Hmm. Yeah, those things can hit a lot of guys. I like the heater chips. Hmm, my folder's actually looking pretty good. <laughs> hmm, let's get rid of a tri arrow, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to have too many of those things. Three is good enough for now. Okay, and Color Man's duplicate is right over here, eventually. Okay, save just in case. Um, hmm. I'm thinking if I want to put in more uh, quake chips. Nah, I think we'll be fine. For boss time against Color Man version 2. Okay, probably going to go with Skull Man. Yeah, it seems the way to go. Oh, but we do have uh, Double Sana Wave, too. Hmm. You know, let's actually go with that. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Hit him once. Okay. Kind of like Shark Man. Just kind of draw them out of position. Got to wait for him to slow down to hit him again, though. Damn it. Oh. Well, never mind. Okay, well, we got a couple Quake 3 chips, so that'll help a lot. that. Do it again. Wait for these things to come down. Okay, almost there. Hmm. Ah! Okay. Um, actually, let's go Dino Wave, then Skull Man. And that should get the job done. Wait for it. Okay, hopefully that will hit him and not one of the other guys that I don't care about. Good, good. Yeah, they don't even have HP, so that wouldn't do a whole lot. Good thing I got out of the way of that Aqua Tower. And we get Color Man Chip. I forget what that does. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, it's like an Aqua Tower and a Fire Tower in one. Yeah, I, I don't think it's very good. But I could reconsider if you guys think so. But what prizes await us in Internet Area 10? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!